Hello everyone, welcome back. So happy new year. Oh my God, I cannot believe it's 2024. Like everyone is saying this, but it is so true. Like the older you get, the faster years go. So it's insane. But I'm here to start off the new year with some new goodies. The makeup industry is already getting my money. <laughs> I got my coffee. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly go over what I got and then we are going to get started. First things first. Physicians Formula. I put in a little order with Physicians Formula because I haven't seen any of this in stores yet. I didn't go too crazy because I wasn't like really, really interested in a lot of their stuff, but I did pick up two items. One of the items is these like bronzing drops. Ever since Drunk Elephant came out with their bronzing drops, which I have not purchased, I'm not interested in getting something like that for so expensive. Um, but I am interested in trying like the dupes that are coming out. So Physicians Formula came out with their own bronzing serum. It's the Maru Maru Butter Bronzing Serum and it comes in like a dropper. And it says you only need, I don't know if you can see, it says you only need like a couple of drops and you can put it in your primer, your moisturizer, you can use it alone if you want, just to kind of give your skin a little bit of a glow, a little bit of a tint, a little bit of a bronze. But I am gonna try them out in this video. I'm gonna mix it with my um, Kate's Somerville moisturizer that I've been using. So I'm gonna try that out. And then the other thing that I got was very intriguing is of course, Physicians Formula hopped on the wagon and came out with their own version of the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzing wand that they have. So this is the contour wand from their Butter Glow collection. And as you can see, it has like the normal sponge tip and everything. It's literally an exact dupe packaging. So I'm excited to try this out. Now I feel like shades is not the best because they only had two shades. The lighter one did not look like it was gonna show up on me. And then this one is medium deep. So if this is medium deep and it shows up on me and it works for me, then that means if we, we need deeper shades for deeper skin tones. So that's the only thing that I'm like, maybe they're gonna see how well it does and then they're gonna come out with more, but they need to stop with the, the limited shades, so that's annoying. Um, so that's what I got from Physicians Formula. I also put in a small order with Sephora, nothing too crazy. I picked up their new highlighter. So they had this for a while now, I think in UK, but for US, they just launched it because I've been searching for it since Trend Mood advertised it. But again, I think it was just in UK for a little bit. So now it hit US. And so I picked up the shade Sparkling Honey 02. It just looked like a beautiful highlighter. Not that I need a highlighter. I try not to get too crazy when buying highlighters. I still love wearing highlighter, but you don't go through highlighter as much or as quickly as any other product, even blush or bronzer, because you only really need a little bit. So, so I try not to get too crazy with the highlighters, but sometimes I wanna try new ones, you know? I do wanna try the Anastasia one too, but again, like I know I don't need it, and just so you know guys, I haven't had caffeine, like coffee, in like weeks, okay? So if I go crazy in this video, I feel like I'm gonna be like the chipmunks and just be like doo -doo 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 -doo, because my body's gonna be like, whoa, where's this caffeine coming from? So Sephora also came out with a new concealer. It is the Best Skin Ever Glow Multi-Purpose Concealer Luminous Finish. And it's in this like very thin um, packaging. So I love their foundation. So this is their foundation that they came out with a couple years ago. I love this foundation. It comes in a glass bottle. It's a pump. Mine's messy because I use it. Um, I love this foundation. They then came out with a concealer. It's the best skin ever full coverage multi-use concealer. So it's a bit thicker. I wouldn't say it's like the fullest coverage, but it has good coverage. It's a bigger doe foot. Um, so when I saw that they came out with like a, you know, more everyday luminous lighter weight, this one's still like closed. I like take off the sticker so I can like open it. So this one's more of your like thinner wand. I'm just really excited to give this a go. So I'm excited about that. So I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to try these products in this video, but I did order the pillow talk little gift set that they had. Um, I think it was $52. I really like the Pillow Talk line. I am one of the fans. Um, it does come with a full-size lipstick. I cannot find my Pillow Talk lipstick anywhere. 
which when I ordered this, I didn't discover I lost my other one until after I ordered this, so I'm, I'm happy that I did order this, but I don't know where my lipstick is. It wasn't a full size, but it was very close to being full size, like it wasn't a mini or anything, um, and still had a good amount of product left, so I'm kind of sad that it's missing. But you do get a full size, which I think their full size lipsticks is $32. And this gift set was 52 so it was $20 more than what their original lipstick is. And you do get a full size. The rest of the items are mini, so you get a Pillow Talk um, highlighter wand, the lip liner, and a lip gloss. So for some, you might not find it worth it, but for me, I was, I was excited to get it. So I did get that as well. Ulta. I picked up two items from Ulta. So Jacqueline Cosmetics is sadly closing their doors. Um... I'm hoping, just like Tati, both her and Tati rebuild and, you know, come out with products in the future. Um, I feel like she really proved that she can do really well in the cosmetic world. And so there are some products that were, you know, there were some products that were kind of like, eh, you know, but she did come out with some pretty darn good products that were staples in my collection that I'm going to miss when I run out of it because I can no longer get it so I am sad that she is um, closing her doors but one thing that I wanted to try for a while is her blush so she did come out with this plush blush blurring cheek tint that's the only thing I would say is it's not a tint a tint I, I think a Benetint when I think of a tint um, this is like straight up pigment so I got mine in shade blush coral I did try this already yesterday and I loved it it still gave you like a slight light reflecting look but because she did say it dries down to like a matte formula so it wasn't sticky it, it it's so weird it gave you that blurred powder look but it also gave your cheek life I don't know how to explain it maybe it was with I don't I mean I didn't really use anything like that gave me a glow so I don't know but I'm gonna try it you can see it today but if you wanted to try them out now's the time just if you get it and you like it maybe order a backup because you're not gonna be able to get it anymore milani came out milani also came out with their own cream bronzer um this is part of their cheek kiss line so they do have blushes like in the same packaging i got mine in the shade 120 spilling tea which is i think their middle shade if i'm not mistaken i think they came out with three or four shades so this one i think is like their second one I think that's it that's all the new products that I got so let's start testing products out all right moisturizer if you like open up this little tab here it does have the directions it says for a warm glowy finish mix one to two drops into your foundation moisturizer sunscreen or primer can be applied alone for a natural sun-kissed glow buff and blend out for a natural sculpted look so I'm just gonna put the moisturizer in my palm of my hand this one is just the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. It's just the one that I've been using on. So we're just gonna do like two drops like that. So I'm just gonna mix that in. You can see it does turn your moisturizer. See if it does anything. Oh, I mean, it adds that physician's formula smell. And I'm sure if you want more of a glow, you can just add more drops. Add, add it on its own if you want a bigger punch or add more to your moisturizer. I don't want to look too bronzy, but I will say that it adds a nice like summer smell. Like it brings me back to summer. And I, this cream itself is already moisturizing, but I think it does it adds like more moisture too to your skin. Like my skin feels softer than normal, but it's not too crazy, you know? It's like a little, a little something something. So I'm excited. Let me keep playing with those. Foundation. I'm gonna add some foundation. Foundation is on. Next, I'm gonna go in with this new concealer. So we're gonna. And even if you like want more coverage, I'm sure you can like put this on top of. Um, on top of another concealer just to add some like brightness and some like moisture back to that area because already it's just super thin and it just looks very sheer like it's like it gives me like serum it says 
prebiotics. I don't know what that's supposed to do. Buildable, weightless texture, long wear. Correct, smooths, illuminates, 12 hour hydration. Prebiotics, I don't know what prebiotics do to your under eyes, but I can feel how thin it is. It feels like a serum. But again, like it really depends, like your age, your texture of your skin, you know, where you are. If you're super dry, you're in like, you're not into the full coverage heavy concealers, like you're gonna like this. Even if you like full coverage, again, put on the more fuller coverage concealer and then just add a little bit of hydration and brightness. You can use this one. So it says it's buildable because right now my under eyes look very, I don't know if you can tell, but they look very luminous and there's a there's slight coverage, but you can still tell that my sleep was not the best. I mean, I added a little bit of coverage, but again, you're not gonna get full coverage. We're just gonna see how it looks in a couple of minutes. Oh my God. I hate like messing it up because once once you open it, it's so white and clean. There it goes. Okay. It's just a contour. Yeah, you see how warm it is? Like that it's, it looks really scary here, but as you can see, it's more sheared out here. It's a bit warmer. So I'm just gonna Okay, I I thought it was gonna like because at first it was like I felt like it was drying down like when I was trying to blend it I was like ooh but no like it's been sitting on my skin for a little bit because I had to go get some cream brushes to blend this in but yeah as you can see like this is medium deep and even in on my skin tone like it blends in pretty natural so. I don't know how that's gonna work for other skin tones. I mean, I know how it's gonna work for them. It's not, so I wish they came, would come out with more shades because I mean, come on, this is so good. And it smells again like summer. Oh, it smells so good. And I'm just gonna keep this like in my contour area. It looks warm when you first put it on, but then when you blend it, it does kind of look cool again but it's not super cool where it makes me look, you know, too gray or anything. You can definitely see it, but it's it's very natural, so. We still need to warm up our face, so I'm gonna go in still with the Milani Cream Bronzer. I'm very excited about it. So, so I'm not cross-contaminating products and bronzers and contours, I'm gonna use a different brush. So I like using this one to, this is actually a contour, brush I should use I don't know what kind of formula this is though so I'm just gonna use this one and use it like this melts into the skin and you can see how much warmer it is because it is a bronzer but I'm gonna get a different brush this is that was like more of a contour brush so I'm gonna use this just so we can get a little bit more blending and it kind of reminds me of their blush formula warm up the face so you can see like for my bronzer I, I spread it out a little bit more um, I keep the contour where I would want that shadow and then bronzer I literally put it everywhere even like where the blush would go like I just like to put it everywhere blend it into the skin beautifully it doesn't look patchy it looks really good so the concealer is creasing just like a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like one line on each under eye. So, but it's not creasing as bad as I thought it would. So I'm going to blend that out. Next is blush. Again, I tried this product yesterday. It's in the shade Plush Coral. So I'm just going to do like a regular dot and a small dot. If it's a little bit too much, it's okay because I'm going to powder and sometimes powder like dies it down a bit. So I'm just going to, I like to just... It, where I put my blush really depends on my mood for the day. So sometimes I like to keep it more in the back. Sometimes I just kind of blend it everywhere. 
bring it up but you can see how it blends out beautiful and I do like this with a sponge what the blush looks like you see how it just like has that glow but I don't know like it just it gives you that blurred powder look but also gives you a glow it's all right so I'm gonna quickly set my under eyes and to be honest I'm not even gonna set the rest of my face because the rest of my face feels pretty dead like nothing on my face it feels like I already set like there's seriously nothing on my face that feels tacky wet slippery like with all those cream products it's, it's insane I don't know if my face is just that dry but my under eye was creasing so I'm gonna put a little bit of powder there but everywhere else looks good let's try out this highlighter I'm really excited how beautiful this highlighter looks ah uh, let me swatch it Ooh, ooh, that feels so silky let's like test it out It's just one of those highlighters that make you look like you just have like a wet cheek like up close it doesn't look glittery or chunky and that's those are the highlighter highlighters i like let me real quickly do my brows off camera and then we'll be back i'm gonna do brows and mascara off camera so i'm just gonna use my oma beauty two-in-one brow styler and say mascara so for lips i'm just gonna use the elf cream glide lip liner in the shade baddest beige And then I'm gonna put on the Glow Reviver Lip Oil in the shade Honey Talk. And I just used this in my last video, but it's just so good. It looks so much better with a lip liner, I will say that. And then, of course, we're gonna set our face. So I'm just gonna use the Everyday Vacay Ciate London. London. All right, and that is the finished look for today. I know I didn't try like a ton, a ton of new products, but I am just, I'm loving how my face looks. This is really how I do my makeup almost every single day. It's just very light and natural. Quick review. I want to continue playing with the bronzing drops. I didn't see like a huge, huge difference. I want to keep playing with them. So I will give my opinion in another video. The best skin ever glow concealer, I think is a very nice everyday concealer. Um, even with setting it, it's like creasing a little bit, but it's very hydrating. It's luminous. So it's hydrating, luminous, sheer light coverage is what you're like looking for. Then I would say give this a try. If you are like, no, I need coverage, then maybe give their more full coverage concealer a try or just go in a different direction. The bronzer contour, I like it on me. I, it, did, it wasn't patchy it blended very nicely it's very like subtle like you can see the contour um, but I just wish they would come out with more shades but I do like the product itself it smells good it's a nice product the Milani cream bronzer I like as well again it blended into the skin very nicely it didn't move product around and it just looks really nice and i like the pan size the sephora colorful luminizer i is just a beautiful 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 highlighter it's a type of highlighter that i like and it's made in italy which any highlighter coming from italy is just a beautiful just gorgeous highlighter so i just love how it looks on my skin you can see that beautiful glow right there i like it there's different shades and the other new thing to me which is the Jaclyn again I just love it I love the blush it lasts all day it's long wearing it just makes your cheeks look blurred but healthy I love it and I'm gonna miss it when I run out of it because I know I'm gonna be reaching for it a lot that is everything for today thank you guys so much for hanging out with me hopefully you enjoyed this video until next time bye guys